Hello, my name is Ray. I am from Baltimore, Maryland. I have been a registered Republican voter my entire adult life. And this November will mark my sixth presidential election that I'll be voting in. It will be the first time I'll be voting for a Democrat. I voted Republican in my first four elections, but in 2016, I supported neither candidate. Um, I could never vote for Hillary Clinton ever, but I also could not support Donald Trump at all either, not through the entire nomination process. He, all he showed was racism, bigotry, misogyny, you name it. And I found that distasteful um, and frankly disgusting. And what I found most disturbing was that there were a large number of conservative Christians who rallied behind him and, and supported him. And I never understood why. There was nothing Christian about him, not in his words, not certainly not in his actions, and not in his treatment of anyone around him. Um, certainly those who he disagreed with. So I will definitely be voting for Joe Biden this November, and I strongly urge all voters, Republican, Democrat, and Independent, to vote for Joe Biden as well. But there is another important point to all this that we need to keep in mind as well, and that is Trump is the head of the Trumpism monster, and we can vote him out in November, but that does not eliminate the Trumpism monster because of the large number of senators and representatives in Congress who all support him. And there are at least a dozen U.S. senators up for election this November and a very large number of representatives as well who are all Trump supporters, and we must vote all of them out as well because the last thing that we can have as a country is have a Trump supporter in Congress pick up his torch and run for the Republican nomination in 2024, and that will put us right back to where we were in 2016, and we cannot let that happen. And at least in the Senate, these men and women who are Trump supporters who must be voted out include Lamar Alexander of Tennessee, Cory Gardner of Colorado, Joni Ernst of Iowa, Tom Cotton of Arkansas, Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, both David Perdue and Kelly Leffler of Georgia, Jim Risch of Idaho, Steve Daines of Montana, Tom Tillis of North Carolina, and certainly Mitch McConnell of Kentucky. And there is also at least one governor up for election in November as well, and that is Jim Justice of West Virginia. If you live in one of these states, I implore you, please vote these men and women out of office. We cannot have them pollute the Republican Party anymore. We must remove all of Trumpism from the party, and that way we can start over and move forward as a country. I want to thank you for watching this video. God bless you, and God bless America.